You get a day in the life Q&A video, you get a mukbang, and you get a get ready with us. The minions! Ah! Welcome to the vlog! What's up? Best activity of the day for our anniversary. Hey guys, it's Jal. And Ramel, what's up? And welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. We're going to be answering a lot of common questions we get. And today is our six months anniversary. He got us a hotel for the night. About to get freaky. <laughs> the first question, did you guys actually meet through a Megal? And then the second question is kind of similar. How did you guys meet? So my friend Alex I showed him, yeah. me a TikTok. Yeah, so a few of my TikToks and then uh, she started following me on Instagram and then um, yeah, from there she hit me up in the DMs and I replied and um, mm -hmm. yeah, we just built a conversation over a few months and then she ended up flying here in May. And then yeah, the rest was history, so. And I told yeah. him, let's go on Amigo and try and find each other. So we actually didn't meet through Amigo. What's our age? We're the same age. Um, and same day, yeah. birthday. Same, yeah. Same day birthday, so we're both on the 25th, I'm 25th of February, and she's on the 25th of March. Exactly so a month apart, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, both 24, so that's our age. Ethnicity. We're both Filipinos. Can you tell? My name. Welcome. <laughs> Magic's about to happen for our anniversary. <laughs> we've got a nice view of the city to make a love. <laughs> Next question, height difference. Height difference. You guys want to show them really quick? Yeah, let's show them a height difference. I'm 5 feet, he's like 5'11". <laughs> 6 foot to be exact, 183 centimeters. <laughs> As you can tell, my little baby. Ah! Okay, okay. <laughs> Fave thing about each other. How open she is with me. Is that a personality trait? No. It's unexplainable, just it's explain. weird. Just, you know, when you just just a present. Feel it's different when you're with her. And physical um, appearance, um, definitely her eyes. I think she's got really cute eyes, pretty eyes. Um, physical trait, his nose. I want my kids to have his nose. Personality, he's so like malambing. He's very like, like soft. You know, like cuddly person. Oh my god, he's my baby, mm. like my big baby. <laughs> Who made the first move? She did. First move physical or <laughs> everything. I'm not shy. Mm -hmm. And then how long have you guys been together? Six months. Yeah, six months officially from like yeah today. Six months anniversary. Who confessed first and how? Very good question. I did. Mm. I. Yeah, the way she did it was um. It was very. It was um. <laughs> the day before I was supposed to leave before they found out I canceled my flight, told him I love him, I looked straight in his eyes, and <laughs> and I just said I love you, and he kept saying like, what, what, I'm like, bitch, I thought you could hear me. I just like to hear it again. What yeah, he asked me twice, and I said I love you, like, I love you, I whispered it, and, and I was like, what? what? I said, like, let me hear it again. <laughs> I said and I, I like, love right. you. How do you make LDR work? Get an iPad. <laughs> Time. Yeah, a lot of money, but you know what? It's worth it. With long distance, in order for it to work, you have to have a similar goal and you have to have like a plan to be together. A long distance is not gonna work if you're just gonna stay a long distance. One person has to move to the other person. Yeah. Communication is really important. Communication, yeah, definitely. Because you know it's hard when you guys are far apart and you can't just go to that person and see them. Yeah. Time zones different too. Are you planning? on living together in the US or Australia. We're deciding by next March, wasn't it? Yeah, just depends on some, the opportunity. Yeah, just the opportunities that are coming up and getting offered, so. Looks a bit dry. Yeah, I need to put some chapstick on these. Okay. Have you done LDR before? Mm -hmm. No, it's the first time. Yeah, most expensive. Yeah, most expensive, hardest one. Okay, yeah, I'm we're really about to eat, good. so we'll, do, we'll answer the rest of your questions after. We're hungry. So we just got our food. I got beef rendang and he got some noodles. Noodles? Try it. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Delicious? Mm-hmm. You want some? Yeah. Some raw uh, barbecue pork noodles and some beef and rice. Those noodles good. Can we switch? No? Mm-hmm. I like that meal. You can have some, bro. See, this is the thing. She eats all my food. Sometimes. Here, it's good, huh? I end up ordering the better food. She eats Not all the time. time. Like 80% of the time. No. 
Okay. Right. I want more. Want some more of this? Yeah. Switch. A switch. No, no, no. I want the switch. I can never enjoy my whole damn meal by myself. <laughs> Good on. Yeah, that's why I ordered it. I had to get like a nice shadow, something small to carry. So I got the Natasha Denona palette kit. I'm gonna use this for date night tonight. I was already annoyed. Who said we could go to Florida today? So why are you starting? We're happy now. We're happy now. We both got a latte. Ice latte. Mm -hmm. Now we got caffeine kick because we have energy and we're alive again. Look how much glowing we are now after a coffee. You just look already 20 times happier. See, I'm patient when it comes to you shopping, but no, when it's I know me, what I want. I'm, I already know what I want. I came in here. I know I what I want too. She was know what brand circles. I wanted. You were going in circles. You didn't even know where you were going. For. So we're back at the hotel. We're getting ready right now. We're heading out to get dinner. What's the best gift? So the best gift you can give your girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, it kind of really depends. I like giving things. Getting a gift, I don't really mind. You know, I just like the thought of getting a gift. I don't know, it just depends on what your girlfriend or boyfriend likes. Yeah, see, you know, it's for a me, very, I like more of like sentimental gifts. It's very personal. It has to be personal. Um, no guys in a long distance relationship. Um, he said I can't wear sexy things when I'm out. Yeah. But it has to be with him. Yeah. But I still do it when I'm with my friends. Okay. Going out with a bunch of girls and there's gonna be a bunch of guys trying to fucking do some. Relax. No, sorry. I get aggressive. Like going a day without talking. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah, my at least call or FaceTime or text, like mm -hmm. what the plans are for the day, so you don't keep the other partner worried or stressed out. Yeah, like, I know, have a habit of doing that. Uh huh. And I go like, what the fuck? Yeah. The rest of my day is ruined unless I know what's happening. Fave and least about US or Australia. So favorite thing about <laughs> fave thing about Australia that you don't have to pay tip or tax when you yeah, go out. Fact. Least favorite thing about Australia, it's harder to find stuff that I can easily find in the US. Uh, yeah. I feel like maybe things close earlier. Least so. favorite thing about New York is least favorite thing, expensive. Tax, tips, and how expensive it is, and the pollution. It's actually dirty yeah, as fuck. It's pretty dirty, not gonna lie. But I do love like how it's just iconic, but yeah. Coming vows like, whoa, shit's pretty dirty. Apps you recommend for LDR? No it? Yeah, it's cute it. doodle. You make like little cute doodle and like you take Sorry. pictures and it stays on the Homepage. widget. Bye. Love sense. Yeah. We don't Love have to sense. tell you, but you guys can look it up. Hardest thing about LDR besides the distance? The time zone. Yeah. It's like when he's sleeping, I'm up, or I'm up, he's sleeping. Being able to share like moments with each other like it's not so easy to just like drive over we have to take a whole flight and it's not so simple to go over to each other's what was it like meeting each other's fam families um was it awkward with mine yours is a, I was a bit shy and scared so i was i didn't know what to expect my how my parents were like felt awkward with my parents yeah. i felt awkward you didn't I feel awkward i just you know i was like i didn't yeah I was just being myself, so I just felt comfortable just to be open and talk. Mm -hmm. Hers was a bit um, unexpected because she stayed longer than she should have here in Adelaide. And then last one, advice for a healthy relationship. Always, like, be the bigger person. Don't do anything that you don't want happening to you or yeah. him doing to you. We're going to get ready for dinner now. Yeah. I'm gonna take her somewhere nice for dinner. Very nice, I'm excited. And I hope she likes it. Mm -hmm. I was really pissed off because he was rushing me and I told him like, every time we go out, you have to give me two hours, but he only gives me like an hour. Took me to Omakase. I love Omakase. <laughs> Look at the makeup though. Cute. Looks pretty on. Hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. I forgot what she said. Uh, scallop, chicken, oh, that was vegetables. Abalone. Just finished our dinner and we are now getting a pizza because I'm hungry again. So we're getting like snacks right now. Just spent four hundred dollars for dinner just to get pizza and snackies. Back at the hotel. You can't really see, oh, but this is our pizza. outfit. So we're gonna enjoy this pizza. I'm gonna share this pizza. And then that. Yeah. Uh, Look, babe. Come on, you get a day in the life. No. Bro, we want you. <laughs> Can we eat? The minion! Looks so good! Shudo. Ready? Mm hmm Cheers. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, don't bad. Mm-hmm. Hello? 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 This is Pam. What hey. is that? Oh, it's the phone. Hello? Hello? Did you fart? No, I didn't. Hey guys, so we gotta call it a night. Mm -hmm. We're tired and it's time for us to make some babies. <laughs> 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 Bye guys! <laughs>